We start with that dire warning from inside Limestone Correctional. Current Alabama Department of Corrections staff pulling the curtain back on what they describe as a facility out of control. Only on Way 31, our I-Team has the internal ADOC staffing requirements, something the department does not want you to see. Now, we're learning the reality is much worse than we even thought. Way 31's Matt Kroschel will start our exclusive reporting this afternoon on the critical staffing issues. He's also exposing serious lapses in security at that facility. Matt? Dan and Marie, fearful of losing their jobs and even worse, facing possible prosecution, the two current ADOC employees who agreed to sit down and answer my questions said they never wanted to talk to the media, but they can't keep silent. As they say, ADOC staff does nothing to help as a facility melts down. Honestly, I don't think they want anybody to know about it. We're not using his name, giving his rank, and we've disguised his voice because this ADOC employee said the department cares more about finding out who's leaking information to us than they do about fixing what these whistleblowers say is a deadly problem. There's not enough officers in this camp on any given day to monitor the camp properly. And eventually somebody is going to take that chance just like they do in every other prison and they're going to try to get out and more than likely they will succeed. I've reviewed internal ADOC documents on staffing at Limestone Correctional and we verified those documents are accurate. They show what's supposed to be a staff of more than 700 members is currently at 165, leaving the facility short more than 550 personnel. I'm afraid for the officers' lives, I'm afraid for the contract personnel's lives, and I'm afraid, afraid for the general public. It's just a matter of time before somebody gets out and somebody gets hurt. After reviewing ADOC's own internal staffing minimum standards, they require at least 32 staff members on a given shift. But according to the whistleblowers, the reality routinely is less than 18, including supervisors. So what does that look like on the inside? It leaves only one guard for more than 200 inmates in each dorm unit when there should be three. And perimeter posts frequently go unmanned. How we're even operating is beyond me for now. We're at the inmates' mercy. I mean, honestly, when they decide that they want us out of the way, there's nothing we can do to stop them. When you talk about 12 to 18 officers on any given night, being there to work or during the day, 20, 25 maybe, there's not enough of us to cover 2,300 inmates. And what was once a low-risk facility is now considered high security with some of the most violent offenders in Alabama inside, leaving the handful of guards left stationed at Limestone facing a situation they say is about to boil over. It is the very worst I've ever seen. Uh, now, Matt, we, we know you reached out to the ADOC about this story. What did you find out? Yeah, so I did ask them today for comment about some of these allegations that their own staff members are bringing to light, and they have not responded to our requests to speak to the commissioner or anyone on camera or even on the phone about what we have uncovered here. And Matt, we know your coverage is far from over. Yeah, Marie, at five, we are going to break down what the public really needs to realize and why they're facing a real danger of a violent inmate escaping out of limestone. And that's something that has nearly already happened. Marie, Dan? All right, thank you, Matt.